16 March 2016. I received a call from a friend of mine. He was just back from Japan, and he told me, Carlo, I saw something special. You should go and see, because it's something interesting. So the week after, I went to Japan, and I saw this uh, product, and I we follow in love with it. So we come back home. We decide to make a joint venture with these uh, friends. We designed this uh, machine, and uh, the December 2017, the first prototype was shown to the customers, to the market, and in July 2018, we delivered the first wet embosser. This is a, a product. I want you to have a, this on your hands, because this will be the main actor of this uh, presentation. So, please, you can help me to distributing <laughs> this product. So, Daniele, help me to show. Is this a TAD? No. It's a comparable TAD. Have you ever thought to put in a paper machine in the converting? Now it's possible. Thanks to their meal, the wet embosser. So you can have a piece of paper machine in converting. Normally, when you are making paper on paper machine, so you, you deal with uh, fibers, you deal with the water, you deal with the chemicals, chemicals, and the heat. In converting, you don't have anything of these uh, factors. Only probably the chemicals, because you are using glue, you're using perfume, you're using lotion to make a softener. With the air meal, you have uh, all of these uh, factors well, why you are using the air meal. So you have a water, wet embosser, you have uh, uh, fibers, you may, you deal with the fibers, you have uh, chemicals, because you cannot, uh, you will see later, you can add some uh, lotion, and also you have uh, eat, the eat. This is the wet embosser. You can see now how it looks, how the wet embosser is looking like. So we have a, a wet end, a dry end, and then the rest of the converting line can be an uh, existing uh, embosser can be uh, a, a flexible embosser or whatever. So basically, the air mill, it's a, a process that you add in water to the web, to the basic web, LCT. Then you go through an embosser. You dry again what you add, the extra water you add, and then you get this texture effect. Not only that, so you are, you have less paper degradation because when you are wetting the paper, then you are embossing the eating, so you have a less degradation. You have a, a textured effect, why we, we call a, a comparable TAD. You can have a, a several combination of uh, processes in converting. So this is how basically the uh, hand mill works. So we wet the LCT paper, the basic paper. We went through the uh, embossing, either the embossing, and then you get this uh, textured effect, increasing the bulk without losing tensile strength, or better, retaining the tensile strength. Some other scheme, some other pictures, you may understand what's happening in the conventional embosser and with the air mill. So when you add the water, to the embosser, basically you make the paper more malleable. And when you are embossing again, so you are not, you are not uh, breaking the, the hydrogen bond effect. Now we talk about this product. Let's go through some numbers. So we compare this uh, comparable TAD with uh, some leading existing product, uh, uh, product that they are in the market. 
from the US in this case. So he had NTAD product. So as you can see on this diagram, we have the, the gray cloud. It's where normally the, the conventional embossing kitchen tower are sitting. And then we have the yellow uh, cloud. It's where the hybrid product, they are you know, uh, sitting. And then you have, of course, the TAD, the princess, the king of the, of, of the tissue. So you can see the red number. It's what do we get from a, a LCT paper going through their mill. So we are getting in the yellow area on the hybrid product uh, uh, configuration. But what is very interesting, uh, if you are comparing the CTAD, comparable TAD with the reference, the same paper going through a normal embosser. So you see the, what do we gain? So we gain 25% more absorbency and 33% more thickness, so more bulk. Same strength, so we don't waste, we don't lose tensile strength going through their meal compared to the normal embosser. I'm talking about using the same pressure, same, exactly the same pressure. We had another good uh, result by using their meal with a uh, lead Italian brand paper. We went through their meal and we match the same thickness that more or less from a product, a TAD product, but with much more strength. So this tells you that we have extra capacity to even increase the bulk, 30% stronger than com compared to the TAD. Now I want you to put a little of attention on this diagram, just to understand what the, this process can you know, uh, give to you in terms of uh, tensile strength. So on uh, your left, you see that uh, if you use this base paper, let's say that 100% uh, is uh, the, the tensile strength of the mother read that you get from the paper machine. And your, target, your finished product target is 73% of uh, tensile strength on the finished product. So you accept a degradation of 27%. Using the air mill, you can have a much better uh, tensile strength retained. So you can have a 90%, keeping the same caliber, keeping the same product specs. This means that if your target is 73% of uh, uh, strength left, you can go in converting with a, a weaker base paper. So this means that you can save money in paper machine, getting the same final product at the end of your converting line. So this is another option that you, you have uh, available when you use air mill. So just to summarize, when you use air mill, you can have uh, increased volume. You increase the volume without losing the tensile strength. This is very important because before the wet embossing, every time you are embossing the paper, you lose the, the tensile strength. And the, that's, what you know, that's what you don't want. Preserve the strength and get a texture look. So more volume, more tensile strength, and the texture look. We have a, a nice uh, test because we, everything uh, we, you will see later, we have our lab in Gambini where we make a lot of trials, a lot of tests on our pilot line. This is something interesting that came out of, uh, after the trials. Using a lotion from Avonic, so we have one week trials. So we learned that uh, going with uh, a small quantity of lotion through the heated embossing system or process, you are retained so the heat retains the softness gain. So whatever you gain, it lasts longer. And then you, are, you can use much less uh, lotion. So we are talking about something negligible, 0.05 grams per square meters. This is another option that you can use, or you can take an advantage using air mill. 
This now we go on the sustainability area of this uh, air mill. So hybrid machine, so actually with the, with the air mill, we demonstrated that we can get similar product like you get from a, what the market call a hybrid machine. But with air mill, you can do the same things with much less energy involved. So LCT, CTAD, hybrid, and TAD. So if you, to make an air mill product, you need like 180 kilowatt hour per ton more. But if you compare what you are getting, which is similar to what you are getting out of the paper machine, um, NTT, Core T, ETAD, you are saving 620 kilowatt hour per ton. So this is the, at the end, you are saving money and getting the same result in converting. So if you, com you convert in CO2, so basically using a air mill to make a paper that usually you are making, you are making it on, the, on the paper machine, you are saving almost 3,000 tons per year, which is equivalent to 700 people in one year. Or if you compare with that, it's even, even more, much, much more. So what's, where this happen? In Gambini, we have a, a, a pilot line. It's a full width pilot line, equipped with the air mill, embossers, rewinder, and the tail sealer, cumulative log saw, where you can basically develop new product, improve the existing product, making the test, training operator, and also make it, what is very interesting, you can make it, uh, up to 50,000 rolls for you to be tested in the market. So the tissue hub, it's available. Uh, it's a separate unit from the Gambini um, building. There is a complete line, as you can see here, schematic, two back stands, air mill, embosser, rewinder, you can run the product, you can test the product, we can help you to develop a new pattern. We have a 3D printer, we can simulate a different pattern in, a, in one day because we have this opportunity. This is what uh, available in Gambini. So Gambini is a two, three building. One is uh, the main building, workshop and uh, assembly. And then we have the technical building where we have a big hole where we can put up to four complete line in uh, checkout, and then, of course, the tissue hub. Gambini is now in Italy, in North America, and very soon in Brazil. Brazil will be our second production uh, site. <laughs> Don't... <laughs> I, I respect the time. Eh? <laughs> Last things. Uh, don't miss the day tomorrow interview to Gianni Gambini by Nicola. So we will keep in to talking about these uh, ideas and what do we want to do in the future, uh, what do, how we see the future. Thank you very much.